Hello Wanderers, welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay series following King Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar. El Cid has now become a, a true king and a true independent ruler in his own right after capturing Castile from the evil King Alfonso. Well, that is only part of our plans for revenge against the man who killed our best friend the and his own brother, King Sancho, as well as presumably his younger brother, King Garcia. This man has not had his full punishment yet, and we are going to attempt to, to meet that punishment out if we can, but we won't be able to do that right away. Now, it has been a little while since we captured Castile. A few years have passed, I think maybe three or something like that. I've let some time go by, let the land settle down, uh, and I have made some changes to where we left things off in the last episode. Notably, you'll see that we are now King Rodrigo, the Campeador of Castile. And when we successfully conquered the kingdom in that last episode, we did become a Malik because we were of the clan government. Now, a few people in the comments did give me some very good advice for how to fix this through save game editing. If you need want to know how to do it through save game editing, you can go and look at the comments in the last video because you will find some useful advice there. But I actually found an easier way, and that is a command, uh, a console command. I believe it is effect change government. Uh, and you will be able to use that to select your government. All you got to do, if you want to figure that out, just uh, Google it. Google, like, how to change government type CK3 console commands or whatever, something like that. And you will find what I found. And, yeah, it's a super simple way to change your king, your government type to feudal or clan or tribal or whatever you want. doesn't seem to have broken anything either. So, yeah. We are a king now, and that is just perfect. Our sons and our daughters are now Infante and Infantas, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, our family is ascending the ladders of power, so to speak. I've also moved our capital from Burgos, which was the former traditional capital of Castile. Well, we've moved it here to Sugovia in Quelar to essentially make use of the special building here because there aren't too many. We don't have any special buildings here in Castile except for this one, which is a very cool one. The Alcazar of Segovia, rising like the bow of a ship from a rocky crag. This fortress is an awe-inspiring sight, majestic and impenetrable. One of the great. It is the greatest castle in the Kingdom of Castles. So this uh, building gives us some really good effects. Uh, men at arms increase, fort level, defender advantage. Lots of nice bonuses here. And so I've decided to move it. Now this building is not built. We're gonna need a lot of money in order to do that, but I thought that this makes sense. Not to mention we originally started off as the ruler of Segovia. So I think it's only fitting that uh, we would make our capital here. So there's that, and we also moved uh, Omadon here over from Amaya to Olmedo because he actually originally, part of his character story is that he came from these uh, mountains uh, around here, and so uh, it makes sense that we would give him to some land to rule that would be near where his uh, traditional people are. So there you go. Uh, not too much has happened in between then and now we got some more martial perks and various things like that. But what I was waiting for and what I let time pass to accomplish was to gain enough gold that we could start the Song of El Cid heroic legend. Now, I don't know very much about how legends work in this game. I assume that it's going to be costing me quite a bit of money here considering uh, considering the gold costs and stuff involved in this, but I do want to see how this plays out, what kind of modifiers we get, 
And yeah, I mean, there are a few other legends here. The Blood of Odin, the Sons of Rurik, the Hunnic Heritage. But otherwise, those are the only ones in the world so far. So we're going to be one of the first legends, which I don't know if that'll make a difference. Maybe we can spread it more, uh, but we're going to we're going to try it. So uh, what do we have here? Create the song of El Cid. This legend seed is for a famed heroic legend. I don't know if there's different types. Maybe they give different bonuses. Not really sure. Uh, based on your chosen protagonist, you will receive different rewards upon completing your legend. Oh, that's cool. So we can pick different people in our dynasty. Interesting. Uh, let's see. What are the differences here? Oh, wow. Some of them give you different bonuses to legitimacy. Hmm. Well, let's probably go with us. Oh, it doesn't give us any legitimacy if we make the legend about ourselves. Interesting. Well, that's probably what we'll do anyways, because that's the only thing that makes sense. We are El Cid, so that's what we're going to go. Uh, you cannot compete or abandon the legend for five years. So what's this going to give? 50% chance of gain access to the legendary hunting lodge option in the clear grounds, grounds for a legendary building decision and gain access to the legendary statue option. Okay, so legendary statue, popular opinion, prestige, renown, hunting lodge, it's danger, holding taxes, interesting. So there's buildings that go along with it as well. We can commission legends and we also gain some legitimacy here as well. Cool, all right, so, oh, famed, illustrious, oh. Huh. Interesting. Gain access to launch a legendary adventure mythical. Oh, this is cool. So this is a famed legend. I don't know how the led how that increases. Guess we'll find out anyways. We're gonna do uh can, oh wait, can we? I'm not really sure how this all works. Can we select any of these? Or it's just it's probably just showing us what the levels are. Uh, but in any case, I'm going to pick Mythical there. Legend Chronicle. King Rodrigo of Castile was born from the pool of uh, the dynasty of House uh, de Vivar. With the natural power of his great lineage, was there ever any doubt that he would achieve, achieve great things? There was no doubt in his mind, Rodrigo was to unify all of the Empire of Hispania under his rule. In the name of Rodrigo, the bickering of lesser lords and ladies was about to reach its end and all would come to him as their liege. His legend culminates in a marvelous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof and many nobles and commoners came to his encounter. All right, well, this uh, text here... Uh, oh, what is this even? Okay. Complete. All right, I'm not sure. Increase quality. Ah, so we can spend. Ah, so if we have, if the legend grows big enough, it will, we can possibly increase its quality here by adding some money. And that's how it'll become famed and uh, mythical and etc. Interesting. And we can, but we could complete it before that to gain the rewards. Okay, so can I just exit out of that? Yeah. All right, so our legend starts in Segovia, and it's going to spread. Um, it's costing us a lot of money, unfortunately, but uh, we'll we'll make do. We'll figure it out for now. But uh, that's yeah, I'm pretty curious to see how this mechanic will play out. Like, what? Oh wow, it actually spreads. Okay, maybe, I wonder how quickly it spreads here. 5.3%. All right, not super fast, but we'll see. In any case, we do have to deal with Alfonso at some point. Oh, what's going on here? Somebody's plotting to kill my daughter, Teresa. Ooh. Well, well I mean, yeah, I hope, I mean, it's very low chance, so they're probably not gonna succeed. You have a little bit of a dangerous faction here. Uh, peasant faction. Not too worried about a peasant faction. 
I think we'll be able to crush him pretty easily here. Uh, we could get a claims, for example, on the Duchy of Coimbra, which is way over here, so I don't really want that. We could get some claims on some of his counties. Is there any that we would really want to get? Avila could be good down here. Um, how much is that going to cost us? Quest claim. You know what? I'm tempted to do that just to get start getting some claims on him here. So we could create the Duchy of Castile if we had the money. We do not have the money. So there we go. That's, uh, that's all we can do now until we are able to uh, go uh, up against one of our enemies here. Not really too interested in going up against the uh, Saracusta. Uh, I wouldn't mind going up against uh, Toledo down here and uh, potentially taking some of their... I think I might even have claims on their lands, don't I? Let's see, what do I got? Yeah, I've got claims on Mulina and, and also Valencia as well. But Mulina might be worth it. He is in a war. What's he got going on here? Defending against the Sheikh of Ukish. It's an internal war, I guess. And he's also defending up a go. Oh, he's going up against Cortuba. Which is Cortuba is fairly strong. Who's he allied with? Mallorca. That's not some probably too much to worry about, right? Yeah. 1500 troops. And he's also allied with Albund. Where is Albund? Oh, within his own lands. How many troops do we have? 1,700. He is probably preoccupied, but eh. So it'd still be a tough one. How many allies could we call in here? Let's just take, let's take a little look. My claims. Oh, we could take both of those claims. Get Valencia. It wouldn't be attached. But. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Ah, no, he's got. He definitely, he definitely outnumbers us. We're going to need to, I think, wait a little bit here. Although I am tempted. Uh, once my bishop converts the county. Uh, I'm probably going to try to get maybe some connecting lands here as well. We'll see. All right, looks like we're playing the waiting game for a little bit longer here. How much time do we have on our truce with... Has that worn out? No, not quite. 12 more months. So uh, I think it was a five-year truce. So yeah, I guess about three and a half years, four years have passed since then. Was my son... Oh, our son came of age. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't turn out to be a particularly skilled commander. He wasn't suited for it. Uh, but in any case, that's not... Uh, he, he didn't turn out that badly, honestly. And if he can increase his education trait, uh, he might actually end up being a decent ruler. I did go and uh, use the... Um, what is it? Influence Ward's personality. I used that on both of my sons and got them both to be the uh, to be brave. So both of them are brave. So his his stats are not actually terrible, considering that he is slow. I'm gonna take his helmet off though. There we go. That's a little a bit better. So yeah, our sons uh, didn't turn out terribly. Anyways, even even the slow one isn't that bad he's you know he's a decently strong warrior so yeah not uh not terrible anyways uh let's see oh we could get some more claims on him so we've got the claim on there we could get a claim on let's go for leon as well take this capital potentially the pope's gonna give us these claims we might as well use them Oh, and additional taxes. Perfect. Our got <laughs> our steward has gotten us additional taxes a bunch of times. That's why we were able to uh, start that legend. So that is pretty perfect there. 
Song of El Cid still growing, slowly, but it's growing. We could pay money to spread the legend further, which is interesting. Come in the legend abroad, do it domestically. It costs a lot of money, though. So we're going to have to uh, wait on that. A l well, no, we just, we're not a very rich country. There's a lot of, we, we don't have high, very high control, as you can see here. So, yeah, we need to, we need to work on that. That's going to give us more troops. It's going to give us more money and just generally make us a better off for the future. Uh, Rodrigo Diegues de Oviedo has died. That is our wife's brother. Glad to hear it. Uh, low control. Yeah, the low control is not uh, doing us any favors. All of our counties were just had zero control when we took them over. So we really got to make up for that. What is going on here? Navarra going up against... Oh, a couple of events. Navarra going up against uh, Saracusta. They're attacking him in the Never ne Navarrese War. The Duchy of Navarra. So he's, he's just going for that one county here. Interesting. Well, good luck, I guess. Do you remember? So tell me, my lord, my chancellor, Sigir Bjorn's voice snaps me out of my thoughts and I find him waving his hand. What about the time you commanded and won the Battle of Saya against Emir Yaya of Batalawis? That surely is worth adding to your legend. Ah, it was such a great occasion. Everyone remembers your great deed. Ah, change a chapter of the Song of El Cid. Recent memory. What does this do? Oh, okay. So this actually changes how the legend is. Legend spread chance plus 2%. Oh, that's very cool. Uh, Let's try it. Everyone remembers our great deed. There we go. Nice. Got the good bonus from it, too. Sigurbjorn continues to jot down more and more tales from the Song of El Cid until suddenly he pauses a sly smile on his lips. Now, I did hear one rather interesting story. He begins slowly. Of a certain drinking contest with an ogre, of all things. How mightily our hero did to be able to drink such a creature under the table. Perhaps a demonstration, but let me truly appreciate such a feat. I don't know where this tall tale came from, but a certain amount of pride begins to prickle. Uh, oh, wow. Prowess challenge. You swill the whole barrel. We are a drinking man. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's, uh, let's show them uh, how we drank that ogre. Under the table, you swill the whole barrel. The discount towards upgrading your le your legend increases greatly. Wow, nice. So what does that mean? Um, open Chronicle. Increase quality. Oh, wow, it's much cheaper. Nice. That is very cool. Looks like the peasants are rising up. Never a peasant's lot is to serve their lord. Oh, our control is going to go down again. Well, uh, I can't let the peasants. I can't let the peasants do this. So we're gonna have to. Oh, we can't even raise up our armies. Oh no, we have to raise up our armies over, over here. Let's get rid of this one. There we go. Raise all of our armies. Let's deal with these peasants. Someone's trying to kill one of my guests. I'm not like super concerned about that just yet. Should probably go and deal with this peasant army here. Ah, Rodrigo comes of age. He's only slightly more skilled than his brother here, but uh, well, he'll 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 do okay as well. So both of our sons trained in military. Neither of them are geniuses like El Cid, but you know, El Cid is a once in a generation man. Let's face it. I mean, look how easily he just destroyed that peasant army they didn't even stand a chance and now we'll go and destroy the rest of them as well and uh i suppose we execute their leader yeah probably that's what you do to the leaders of peasant armies is it not uh we're probably gonna go with serve the crown here natural dread plus 15 and that control growth <laughs> the control growth is what i'm really after here because that's going to be a huge 
boon to us, especially considering what just happened. Looks like our second son can get married to his betrothed, Ippolita di Parma. They are from Italy. I mean, I will, I'm not gonna break off uh, this marriage or anything like that, so I will accept. It's not the greatest alliance or anything. Part of me is tempted to break the betrothal between our son and Tomasina, but I just don't know if, just in order to try to get like a better alliance, you know, with France or something like that. But I don't know if we would really do that, you know. Would El Cid betray the people who came to his side and helped him take, take the kingdom of Castile? I don't think he would. I don't think he would. And honestly, they're not the worst alliances. Hello, Rodrigo. I bet you weren't expecting to see me ever again, especially after you destroyed my organization years ago. Ah, so we had an event that popped up uh, a little while ago during the time jump there where we fought against this King of Thieves. I think we dueled him or something. But uh, apparently he's back. But breaking something is as easy as putting it back together, and I don't want to play cat and mouse any further. Grant me safe passage to Napoli, and you will never see me again. The guild will be rebu rebuilt far away from you and your riches, says Donato, the King of Thieves, while n nervously holding a pouch of coin in one end and a concealed weapon in the other. Very, very well, I will help you leave for Italy. Actually, how about you join my ranks instead? Uh, whoa, he's not a bad character, frankly. Uh, it sounds exhausting. How about becoming a spy instead of a criminal? The spy network will search for and report up to two secrets from other rulers involved in the struggle. No, you won't get away this time. Oh, you know what? Uh, oh, what is this? You will enter a lethal duel with Donato. You know what? We dueled him once before. And we cannot let this king of thieves uh, escape. So we are going to we're going to duel him here. Uh, let's see. Strike pari repost. I leap into action, launching a flurry of rapid thunks. Uh, let's go. That's the best you've got. Uh, let's see. Strike. Uh, I think that we should probably go with better men than you have died trying to break my guard. Strike, parry, repost, and then fool, take this, we say. I swing my mace in an almost lazy feint. My opponent doesn't see my offhand dagger until it's too late when it's already sailing through his guard and straight into his chest. Donato staggers back, my hand off a dagger, my offhand dagger pulling loose as he does, a spraying gore and fragments of bone all over the floor. He bleeds out quickly, though not exactly painlessly. Goodbye, Donato. Former king of thieves. There we go, slaying old enemies. Oh, prestige and some gold. Not too bad. That was a cool, cool little event there. Anything else uh, from our good old Pope? Mm, Duchy of Karuna, where is that? Uh, not, I don't really want to get any, oh yeah, it's way over there. I don't really want to get anything that's too far away. Um, because it's gonna be annoying to kind of manage. So yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that uh, just yet. Mus Lihidin is scheming against my daughter. Why? Who is this? Our guest? Throw him in jail. There we go. And execute him. He was gonna murder my daughter? Burn at the stake. Yeah. How's our dread looking? Eh, it's not even actually that high. Even though we've done some things, you'd think that would build up our dread a little bit. But that is what it is. Uh, how long before... Oh, boy. What's uh, spreading over here? I don't know if I like the looks of that. That's the struggle. Hmm. Ah, the light shines so pleasantly in the throne room this morning, my lord, Sigbjorn says. It sure reminds me of the day fate decided to start your legend. Do you remember how benevolent you were attending that peasant's desperate pleas, he says with an eloquent wink? Ah, what a pious soul I am. Change a chapter in the Song of El Cid. What would that add? Um, 81% chance. Hmm... 
gain piety. Let's see, what would this change? Monthly prestige, a marshal plus one. Oh, that's actually not so bad. Yeah, let's do try that. Oh, it's clearly a lie. Oh, darn. Gotta try it anyways. The easing of tensions, if that is possible, between myself and King Alfonso seems to confirm he has uh, abandoned his vendetta against House de Vivar. It is hard to believe, but I would be glad to be free of worries regarding a Yemena threat. How do I waste time with this nonsense? Hmm, so we are no longer nemesis. Are we still enemies? No, we're not rivals, but we do hate each other. So at least he won't be quite as likely to try assassinating me. Um, he's probably just distracted with other things is what I imagine is happening here. So, secret letter lost. Someone in your realm has learned of Umar's secret. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. Oh, uh, here's the... Uh... Oh. My spymaster has come to me with grave news. Queen Mayor, the wife of King Alfonso of Leon, that is plotting to kill my daughter Teresa. That bitch. Worthless fiend. Damn. All right. Well, oh, and our son here is uh, can get married to Tomasino de Treviso. Uh, he's just a count. Can we, would we dishonor our alliance like that? I don't know. I don't think that we would. Diligent, trusting. No, I don't think we would. I mean, diligent could go either way. You could say the diligent move is to get a better alliance, but also a diligent move is not being known as somebody who breaks your word. So I think we are going to accept here. And uh, there we go. That uh, marriage between our son, and I'm going to huh, fix up his beard a little here too. There we go. That looks a little bit more respectable, I think. Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, I still think he's going to actually end up being a pretty decent ruler. His stats are low, but honestly, his prowess is okay. And you can increase your education trait as you go along. So I don't actually think he's going to be that bad. We do have this plague spreading, uh, it, it seems. King Robert's boils, camp fever, Bulgar sweats. <clears throat> Oh, wow. Oh, these are all the ones. Oh, these are all nearby? Holy crap. Where where in the world are they? Oh, here's, here's a few. Yeah, okay. Well, luckily we've avoided uh, most of them thus far. We haven't avoided the peasants. Like, come on. Why are the peasants just always <laughs> rising up? We've had two rebellions in very quick succession here. I mean, I'm not really, like, too concerned about it. It's just continuously ruining our control, which is mm, probably the most annoying part, so. Uh, oh, let's see, are we at his control? Back up in those places? Looks like it is, so. That's good, at least. Burgos is under siege, not too concerned. We're gonna go and send in our troops, crush their army quite easily. And then we'll go and we'll crush the rest of their armies. Quite easily, again. Uh, King Rodrigo, I have discovered Duke Gonzalo's inherited contract obliges him more than you have collected. Time to write this wrong. Oh, his feudal taxes are increased? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Boom, crush that army. Then we'll go and crush this one. The peasants cannot stand against Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar. <gasps> but our mother has passed away. First thing we're going to do is replace her, <laughs> right? Mm. <laughs> uh, Mayor Suero of Uceda. All right, you can do you can do that job, I assume. Uh, not very trustworthy, though, so I wouldn't mind swaying you. Considering we have a lot of enemies. Uh, but yeah, poor, our poor mother passed away. There we go. Rush of the peasant army, enforce our demands. Locals pacified for 25 years. There we go. And uh, we can probably, can we execute this guy? Behead him? Yeah. I mean, that's what you do to such people, right? You don't let them live. So there we go. I mean, 
things are actually going reasonably well in our kingdom. We, you know, we're not making a ton of money. We could really do something about that. But overall, I'd say we're in a relatively decent position here. We just need to wait for the right opportunity to attack Lyon, which is going to be probably uh, relatively soon. We could do an excommunication war against them, uh, but we'll probably go for our claims, uh, especially if we can get like Zamora or some other places along the border here. Uh, oh, struggle clash. Oh, we could get all of the, yeah, that's what we want to do. So that is probably what we're going to do in the next episode. But if there's anything that you guys think I should be doing in the meantime, uh, do let me know in the comments below. You can see the Song of El Cid is slowly starting to spread here. So hopefully soon we will be the most legendary ruler in all of Iberia. But that will be in the future. So until then, Wanderers, thank you for watching.